This piece of equipment is used to find a tiny bog turtle underground that is carrying an antenna. Craig Patterson is with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. The transmitter that's on the turtle emits a signal. And I can hear that signal with the headphones, and as we get closer, it gets louder and louder. And then once we get near the turtle, we can point this at the ground and do a sweep. And then uh, we usually know exactly where the turtle is. Somewhere in these few hectares of protected land, some 35 turtles are living under the mud. The bog turtle is one of the smallest in North America and is listed as an endangered species. Only several thousand survive. They live in small pockets of wetland, like this one, in a few states on the east coast of the United States. For the last 17 years, Scott Smith has been working with the turtles. This one has had a chronic problem with an ear infection. This male turtle was first found 12 years ago. Experts guess he's 40 years old and could live another 20. He weighs about 130 grams, and the transmitter on its back is 7 grams. The antenna helps scientists check regularly on his health, as well as on behaviors and places where he hibernates. These bog turtles spend a lot of time burrowing down in the mud. They're physically moving mud, opening up little areas for other animals to use. Um, and uh, they're just kind of cute. But being cute didn't help them. Julie Slycombe from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service explains. A part of the issue was loss of habitat, but another part of the issue were people were actually going in the wetlands, taking the turtles and selling them illegally. A slow reproduction process. Predators and animals such as raccoons that eat turtle eggs also threaten their survival. The females have to be about 10 years old when they first reproduce. They only reproduce once per year and they only lay two to five eggs. Development and changes in the waterways have dramatically altered the turtle's habitat. Now, as the bog turtle faces extinction, local governments and environmental organizations have joined forces to protect it. Years ago, this area was scheduled to be paved for a highway. At the State of Maryland Highway Administration, biologist Bill Branch has been looking after the turtles. The original alignment was due to come straight through this area that we're standing in right now. Uh, when we found the bog turtle here about 15 or 20 years ago, we selected to move the alternate away from this site over on the other side of the hill so that we would avoid this area and protect the habitat for the bog turtle. The highway away from the turtle's protected area is almost finished. There are also efforts to restore the turtle's habitat. Goats and sheep are now clearing invasive vegetation from the area, avoiding chemicals or machines that could threaten the turtles. For producer Zulima Palacio, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News. Perfect timing. Yeah. Right place, right time.